Hello YouTube. I'm fun in the in the previous tutorial we have learned about constructors. In this tutorial I will explain about the keyword this. This is an implicit keyword created by the JVM at runtime and supplied to every Java program. The keyword this is used to point to current class object. Let me explain you by giving a code. This is a program we written in our previous tutorial. We have used parameterized constructor and default constructor to initialize the data members of the object. Now, let us look at the parameterized constructor. It takes formal parameters of integer type x and y. Now, if I replace this x and y with the name of the data members, that is a and b, a and b. So, I replaced it here. So, let me replace it in here as well. A equals A and B equals B. So let me save this file and I will compile it. Java C test dot Java. So it has compiled successfully. I will run it now. Java test so it is asking to enter values 14 and 15 and 20 so look at here this is the object wait I will show the code for you we have two objects here one we initialize one with the default constructor and the other with the parameters constructor. We have stored the user enter values in X and Y and passed it to parameters constructor sum X and Y that is with object S2 that is associated with object S2 and this is the code associated with it but look at here the values of a and b with re with respect to the object s2 is 0 and 0 though we entered 15 and 20 so what's wrong with the program is there any error in the program well there isn't any error in the program but there is one logical mistake in this program look at here the formal parameters the formal parameters has the same name as the name of the data members of the class a and b so as far as this method is concerned the formal parameters a and B have higher precedency or visibility than the data members A and B as far this method is concerned. So the JVM will think as if we are assigning the values of formal parameters to itself. Like for example, we entered 15 and 20, so the JVM thing as 
15 equals 15 and 20 equals 20 internally the JVM is going to think like this to overcome this drawback we make use of the keyword this we make use of the keyword this the syntax for using the keyword this is this dot name of the data member or method of the class for example when this method is concerned when this method is invoked with respect to object S2 then the keyword this let me write this this here this dot a this dot b so we have to use this is the syntax for it so when this object is concerned when the parameters constructor gets invoked with respect to object s2 then the keyword this points to object s2 and this dot a and this dot b is same as saying s2 dot a equals 15 that is s2 dot a equals the value we entered at runtime and s2 dot b equals to the value we entered at runtime so we assign the formal parameter value to the data member of object s2 similarly if this method is gets invoked by object s1 like if we write again some values in here Uh, just for example consider the object s1 also access the constructor this constructor so when this constructor gets invoked by object s1 then the keyword this points to s1 that is whenever an object invokes this method the respective object is going to be replaced by this this I hope you have understood what I am trying to say so let me save this file uh, let me edit it first And here also we are not passing any arguments with at this time so let me save this file first so I will compile it again and run it so it is asking for values now I will enter say 80 and 30 so look at this this is with respect to object s1 and this is with respect to object s2 through which we have called the parameters constructor this was our previous example 
without using the this keyword this is with using the this keyword so using of this keyword is used for pointing to the object through which a method is invoked so in this method i'll explain this with respect to data members in the next tutorial i will say about this constructors and this parameters constructor thanks for watching